Uh, it's called Ancestral Memories. In the beginning, there was no love, only cliffs. Thok stands with Oog on the edge of a cliff. Thok turns to Oog and says, Make him fly. Oog replies, No, you not fly. Thok says, Me show you. Thok jumps off of the cliff and instead of flying, he falls like a rock. <laughs> Oog remembers this and while he does not have the presence of mind to tell his children he loves them, when he brings Rock, Ak, and Oog Jr. to the cliff, he recoils in remembrance, and they pick up the nonverbal signals, and the ancestral memories are committed. Oog the Third is afraid of cliffs. His father remembers as his father moved away from the cliff. Oog composes the first song, and while it is not about love, it has a similar message. Stay away, cliffs, you fall, you die. <laughs> Oog the Third's children learn the song, and it evolves. Oog Four sings, Stay away, cliffs, you fall, you die. Ag sings, Cliffs bad, you fall, you die. Arg sings, Cliffs no good, you won't die, you not live. <laughs> thousands of generations follow, thousands of generations learn thousands of lessons, pass on thousands of memories through experience or by words. When the early humans learned to pass on their songs of warning, these songs became poetry. Ook 2000 wrote the first haiku. Stay away from cliffs. Gravity is a killer. Try to fly. You die. Ook <laughs> 2500, a.k.a. Shakespeare, wrote the first sonnet. But now a cliff represents love, and the falling might not kill you, but it'll hurt like hell. All of us are now sharing memories from our ancestors. The electric shocks of remembered movements carry on. They find their way through genes into sperm and egg, combining, at last, intertwining. There may be the occasional Oob 2675 who forgets that cliffs are bad, but there are parachutes now for base jumping. Oob 2701 is heartbroken and filled with pain of unrequited love. He replaces the cliff with a building ledge. He jumps and remembers what Oog One learned long ago. Cliff's bad. You fall, you die. <laughs>